For today's video, we are going to have a basic introduction of implicit differentiation and we are going to explain everything in details. On number one, we are going to find dy over dx when x squared plus y cubed minus 4x equals 8. So how can we find the value of dy over dx in this equation? So the first step that we're going to do is to differentiate both sides of the equation. So we are going to have d over dx and then let us write the equation that is x squared plus y cubed minus 4x equals 8. And then let us find the derivative of x squared and that is 2x. And whenever you differentiate y variable, it is always associated with dy over dx. So the derivative of y cubed, that is 3y squared, multiplied by dy over dx. And the derivative of negative 4x, that is negative 4. And the derivative of 8, that is 0. So let us move negative 4 on the other side of the equation together with 2x. It will give us 3y squared dy over dx equals 4 minus 2x. And then, let us divide both sides by 3y squared. Let us cancel this one. So the value of dy over dx is 4 minus 2x all over 3y squared. And this will be our answer. On number 2, find dy over dx when y squared plus 5x squared y cubed plus x raised to 4 equals 9. So to find the value of dy over dx, let us differentiate both sides of the equation. So let us have d over dx and then let us have y squared plus 5x squared y cubed plus x raised to 4 equals 9. So let us find the derivative of y squared. So again, whenever we differentiate y variable, it is always associated with dy over dx. So the derivative of y squared, that is 2y times dy over dx. And then, let us have the derivative of 5x squared times y cubed. So as you can see, we have a product. So the value of u, that is 5x squared, and the value of v, that is y cubed. And product rule, that is u prime times v plus u b prime. u prime, that is the derivative of 5x squared, and that is 10x. And then v, that is y cubed. And then u, that is 5x squared. And v prime, that is the derivative of y cubed, and that is 3 y square. So since we have a y variable, it is associated with dy over dx. So let us simplify. Let us have 10x y cubed plus 5 times 3, that is 15. And then x square y square dy over dx. So let us write here 10x y cubed plus 15 x square y square dy over dx and then let us have the derivative of x raised to 4 that is 4 x cubed equals the derivative of 9 that is 0 and then let us move 4 x cubed on the other side of the equation together with 10 x y cubed it will leave us 2 y dy over dx plus 15 x square y squared dy over dx equals negative 4x cubed minus 10xy cubed. And then let us factor this one. Let us have 2y plus 15x squared y squared dy over dx equals negative 4x cubed minus 10x y cubed. And then, let us divide both sides of the equation by 2y plus 15 x square y square. So, 
So this one is being cancelled. So the value of dy over dx is negative 4x cubed minus 10xy cubed over 2y plus 15x square y square. So this will be our answer. But if you want to simplify your answer, we are going to have dy over dx equals the greatest common factor of negative 4 and negative 10, that is negative 2. And the variable x, let us have negative 4x cubed divided by negative 2x, that is positive 2x square. And then after that, negative 10xy cubed divided by negative 2x, that is positive 5y cubed. And then, the greatest common factor on the denominator, that is y, it will leave us 2 plus 15x square y. And this will be our answer. On number 3, we are going to find the second derivative of x square plus y square equals 25, and we are going to evaluate at point 4, comma 3. So how can we find d square y over dx square? So the first step that we're going to do is to differentiate both sides of the equation. So let us have d over dx, and then let us have x square plus y square equals 25. And then let us find the derivative of x square, and that is 2x. And the derivative of y square that is 2y, but it is associated with dy over dx. And the derivative of 25, that is 0. So let us move 2x on the other side of the equation. It will give us 2y dy over dx equals negative 2x. And then let us have 2y. Let's divide both sides. Let's cancel this one. So dy over dx, 2 is being cancelled, is negative x over y. So this will be the first derivative. Now, let us find the second derivative of the given expression. So let us have d over dx of dy over dx equals negative x over y. So the derivative of dy over dx, that is d square y over dx square. And then, let us have the derivative of negative x over y. So as you can see, we have a quotient. And quotient, that is v u prime minus u b prime over b square. So the value of v, that is the denominator, and that is y. And then u prime, that is the derivative of the numerator. The derivative of negative x is negative 1. And then u, that is negative x. And then the derivative of y, that is 1. But it is associated with dy over dx, so we can write as 1 dy over dx all over v, that is y, square. So let us have negative y plus x dy over dx over y square. But we have the value of dy over dx, and that is negative x over y. So let us have negative y plus x times negative x over y all over y square. And that is negative y minus x square over y all over y square. So let us simplify this one. So let us have y multiplied by negative y, that is negative y square minus x square over y divided by y square. So we can multiply this one. So this one is negative y square minus x square over y cube. 
then after that let us have d square y over d x square equals this one negative y square over x square over y cube and then let us substitute the value of x and y so this will be x and this will be y so they have negative and then y that is 3 square minus x that is 4 and then square over y that is 3 cube simplify let us write here 3 square that is 9 the negative that is negative 9 and then 4 square that is 16 and 3 cube that is 27 so negative 9 minus 16 that is negative 25 over 27 and this will be our answer So I hope you will learn from this lesson. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.